Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free-to-use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. In the previous lesson, we've looked at drug concentration and conversions when considering liquids or solutions. In this lesson, we will consider oral dosage, or more specifically, we will learn to calculate the number of capsules or tablets a patient should be given based on their prescribed amount. So the two elements of information that we will need will be, number one, the prescribed amount of the drug, and number two, how much of that drug is in one tablet or capsule. So to work out how many tablets to give to a patient, we must divide the prescribed amount of the drug by the amount of the drug in each tablet. For example, if the patient is prescribed 600 milligrams of a drug and each tablet contains 200 milligrams of that drug, we simply divide 600 milligrams of the prescribed amount by 200 milligrams that is available in each tablet, which gives us 3. Therefore, the patient requires 3 tablets. Let's do another together. A patient is prescribed 400 milligrams of a drug and each tablet contains 100 milligrams of the drug. How many tablets does the patient require? Well, this is straightforward. Divide the prescribed amount by the amount that each tablet gives, which is 400 milligrams divided by 100 milligrams, which is four tablets. Now, what if the prescribed amount is not in the same metric units as the amount of drug in each tablet? Well, referring back to what we already know on converting metrics, we can apply exactly the same approach here. So let's do an example. A patient is prescribed 3 grams of a drug and each tablet contains 600 milligrams of that drug. We can see the prescribed amount is in grams and we need to convert this into milligrams using our conversion factor of 1000 to give us the prescribed dosage in milligrams. Therefore, 3 grams multiplied by 1000 gives us 3000 milligrams. Now we can crunch the numbers in our formula. 3,000 milligrams of prescribed dosage divided by the 600 milligrams that each tablet contains gives us five tablets. Okay, now do the calculating tablets test on NurseNet Numeracy. You can find lots more maths help at www.nursenet.uk or if you're simply looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board.